Okay guys, I'm going to try and do this video again because I've actually accidentally shut off my other two with Isis climbing all over me. So hopefully this goes good. Get down. We are going to go over some snacks that I give Isis. You guys seen in the videos. Three videos I've given her. Peanut butter, vanilla ice cream. I've given her popcorn. Popcorn and vanilla ice cream. That's very rare that she gets it, but... Okay, uh, let's see. Other things. She will get hot dogs. We usually use that, you know, for training. Just tear off little bits and pieces. An apple. Isis loves apples. We won't give her a whole apple. You know, I might give her, um, like a couple of pieces. I mean, in an apple or the rest of it will just cut up, put it in the fridge and yeah, that'll be our snack. Another thing, it gets pretty friggin' hot. So, uh, Maybe I should just turn it this way. I'm charging my iPad, you guys, so I'm sorry. Like, I, I don't really have a good amount of range right now. So, I don't know. I, I That'll be fine, I guess. So, another thing. Applesauce. I bake her doggy treats, and this is one of the ingredients. But when it gets really hot, again, I'm here in Vegas. It gets really hot. I want to give Isis something nice and cool. I would just put a little bit of all-natural applesauce. Just go ahead and put some in a cup so she can go ahead and have it. It's a nice cooling treat. She loves it. You can find it. And I'm sure everyone's seen it. You can find it at Walmart, Albertson, Smith's, Vaughn's, you name it. I'm sure they have it. Let's see what else. Another doggy treat. Health bars. These are baked with apples and yogurt. The brand is Blue Buffalo. I got this from Petco. They had it on sale. It was like five something. Original price is usually like seven something. So, yeah, Isis loves this. And at the same time, this is the brand that I feed her as far as the dog food. She gets the Blue Buffalo, the Wilderness. Um, hers is in duck. Tried to give her salmon. She didn't care for it. Uh, yeah, I try and just stick with the Blue Buffalo brand. Now, PetSmart carries a brand of this that's, I believe it's like canine pet paw wax or pet wax or something. Well, Petco's is paw balm. This helps, you know, if you're, they're, Ugh, sorry. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, I'm just so tired. I've shot this video like freaking four times. And no thanks to Isis over there who's trying to get to her treats. She just keeps messing me up over here. Um, this, your dog's paws get rough. They're cracked. They scratch. They hurt. <laughs> because... Isis's does. Oh my gosh, when she puts her foot on me or something, it hurts. It scratches. I swear, the minute I put this on, it was like so soft. This puts a layer between the ground and, you know, their paws, so it helps it from getting torn up if you've got different types of flooring. Some traction, um, you know, with the heat, and then like. The guy had said that his groomers um, also use it, like, if the nose is dry or on the elbows or something. So, yeah. A lot of good uses. Uh, and it's fine, you know, should they go ahead and lick it or whatever. Even the lady who rang me up actually uses this stuff on her cuticles. So... Um, yeah, so it just says massage into pads and elbow joints, allow to absorb, leave a light coat of protection. So, great thing, like I said. Petco and PetSmart, I don't live that far um, from both of them. They're both like five minutes away down the road from me. They're right across the street from one another. 
they both, I go to both, you know, um, they all got their good things that one doesn't carry, that the other one doesn't, so, okay, um, we also picked Isis up a toy, um, this is the Red Kong, it's a squeaky toy, this squeaks like crazy, the whole thing. She can, she has a blue one somewhere hidden in this freaking house. But her blue one has, she was able to bite a little bit, like crack holes in it, and it does not stop the squeaky. I kid you not. These are the most durable things ever. And I was going through toys after toys after toys because Isis loves her toys. But the problem was she would shred right through it. Now, besides that Kong and this ball that makes noise, let's see if I can't hit the ball. Oh, well, I didn't have to hit it for it to make noise, but, you know, it's the thing that lasted the longest. Now, that Kong also has, I know this looks really weird, it's because it's shredded, as you can see at the top. This also is part of that line where it's just long like this, and it, it was squeaky, but... This one, because she was able to, maybe if it's for a smaller dog, it would be fine. But the <laughs> the fact that um, she could wrap her mouth around it, she just uh, was able to shred through it. Now, the red one, no, she couldn't. Or the blue one, for that matter. So, great toys, love the whole Kong thing. Great, great, great. Um... Yeah, I didn't throw that away because I, you can't. I've actually seen... Isis will actually pick her toys out of the rubbish. And I know you're supposed to hide it and you shouldn't show it in front of them. But she's actually done it twice. So we actually will wait till we are throwing the trash away to go ahead and find something. Now, uh, last thing would be this. Now, it looks like, you know, a water bottle you would put for a hamster. These are meant for your dog, like you can put it for their crates, you just hang it on the outside, inside there it has this little thing, oh, God, this is not working out, it has this little thing that wraps around, that way they can have some water, you know, if you're gone and whatnot, just so they could have a little bit of water, you know, it's your choice. Um, if you want to fill it all the way up, if you're going to be gone for a while, if you're not. So, just got this. Isis, you know, the funny thing is, is Isis is really not in her crate. Uh, we're lucky, not we're lucky, but Isis is, is lucky if she's even in her crate for three days out of a month. So... Really, it's just that I always feel a little bit more content. It's just I can't put anything else in there. Um, I can't put even a little bowl or something because she will start to chew at it. And uh, so, yeah, I would like her to have, you know, just her little bit of water. It makes would make me content. But if she is in her crate, it's usually for no more than two hours. Yeah, I always feel too guilty. Um, I did go ahead and make another video that I will try and post up. I'm probably... I don't think I, I touched much on, like, Isis' story or something. I think I just kind of covered topics on, you know, if you want a husky, things that you'll look out for if you're looking in shelters and stuff, things that you can... Probably almost 100%, I'm sure, expect for them, you know, what they're going to ask from you. So I'll try and um, get that posted up sometime this weekend. And we will see from there. I'm trying to think of other topics to cover. Like today was like snacks and stuff. Um, I'm just trying to cover all kinds of topics uh but if you guys have any ideas anything you guys would like to see or would like to know i meant to actually film her 
yesterday, but it's just, I think it's probably too hard for me to go ahead and do it. Um, I, you know, when I groom her, I'm ferminating her because she's blowing her coat like crazy. I could pluck her like a freaking chicken right now. It's pretty ridiculous. Let's see. Oh, well, maybe I got most of it. But yesterday, it was a whole rubbish can. A whole, in fact, I know you can't really see it too good, but right over, let's see, right over there, there is the rubbish can. This whole thing was just covered with with her fur. So, yeah, uh, I will try and think of some other topics. And we will see you guys later. Right, Isis? Good girl. Look at her smile. <laughs> or just the fat right there in the side of her cheek. Okay, talk to you guys later.